Hi, today I'm going to talk about random number generator. So, uh, basically, I'm so I'm going to use the linear congruential method. So, uh, basically, you just use um, just generate a very large number, and then you divide it by another very large number, and then you take the remainder. The remainder will be, and then the if you carefully chosen those large number, the remainder you get will will tend to appear pseudo random. So with carefully designed, you can get a, um, you will not see a repeating pattern in a very short run. So, but that really depends on the number you chosen in your in your in your algorithm. So, um, so now I'm going to show you this uh, linear congruential method. So first of all, let's say in this, uh, in, now I'm going to generate like ten thousand random number here, and then let me def and then your next number should always depend on your previous number. So, so I set my first number equal to one, and now I'm going to generate this ten thousand number pseudo random number. So my next number i um, plus one is depend on my previous number and then so basically just a, a very large number multiplied by this previous number and then adding another number and then divided the sum by another large number m here and then you take the reminder that number, if you collect all those reminder for this uh, 10,000 num for 10,000 times, with carefully chosen, with carefully cho uh, ch uh, choice of a, c, and m, you will get a you will get a pseudo random, which means that um, you will not see the repeating pattern in a short run. But this algorithm is still predictable, so you can so if you like not carefully choosing the, the the number the variable here, you will see the repeating pattern very uh in a very short run. So that so that this is so that this pseudo random can is still predictable. So let's say um so there are lots of there are different types uh there are already different good choices of this variable. So I'm just going to use them directly. So for A, I'm going to use 7 to the power of 5, and C is just 0, and then M is 2 to the power of 31 minus 1. So basically, uh, so, someone, so someone get this number, and then it, um, so that the number, the repeating pattern will not, using, this num using these variables, um, the number will not appear when the repeating pattern will not appear in a sh very short run but in the long run you can still see the repeating pattern so now I'm going to show you okay so now I have some number here let's check okay so they are they are already very large number so now I'm going to bring this number back to um, between um, bring it back to the range between 0 and 1 so I divide it by M okay so now let's take a look of the distribution of this number so you can see that um, they they appear to they appear to follow random uniform distribution so you can see that all numbers appears about uh, um, appears about equally but there's still like some you can see that there are some number tend to appear more but you can see that they're about to appear as a, a random uniform distribution so I can also make a plot let's say um, So I'm going to, to plot the number. So I'm going to plot x1 and x2 as a as a coordinate, and then 
I'm going to show you every other number and then you will see there's almost no pattern between these number. You can see that in this area, the number appear to be randomly distributed. But since this is generated by this algorithm, so it is very likely to be predictable. Only with careful choice of the numbers here, you can you will not see the repeating pattern in a short run, but it's still predictable. So this is only pseudo random. And then you can still bring this back to pseudo random uh, uniform distribution. Okay, so now I'm going to use a random uniform distribution uh, to sample from another distribution. So for example, okay, so let me delete this. So for example, um, we have um, we are targeting for um, for this for a exponential distribution. So this is lambda uh, times uh, exponential of a negative lambda times x. So let's so we know that this is a exponential distribution. Let's say, let's pretend we don't know how to sample from this distribution. Um, like um, R already have a R ex, ex, exponential distribution where you can, gen, where you can um, generate, a, where you can sample from this distribution. But let's pretend we don't know how to sample from this distribution. And then previously we already, we generate some random uniform distribution. So how we can use random uniform distribution to sample from this exponential distribution? So there's a method called inverse CDF method. So for example, uh, given, so this is a, a PDF, is probability den density function. So given this one, we can just take the integral from 0 to x for f of x, which is actually, I'll just type f of, f of, f of x dx, and this. So the integral of this PDF will be the CDF. I'm not going to go over the detail in this so I'm just going to directly give you the the answer here if you are you should if you are familiar with um, uh, taking the derivative and or or, the, or integral of function here so this should be negative lambda multiply x okay so this function here is your CDF here it's the CDF of this exponential distribution. So now, how should so now we are going so how so now I'm going to take the inverse of this CDF function. So the inverse. Um, so the inverse CDF method is that basically just set this CDF function equal to random uniform distribution, and then we take. And then we pull, we pull, we bring out the x by substitute by putting by putting the uniform distribution into this uh, inverse CDF, and then we can use random uniform distribution to sampling uh, exponential distribution. So now I'm going to take the inverse of this CDF here by set by set this uh, CDF equal to uniform distribution. So now I'm just going to give you the answer. So x is equal to um, negative 1 over lambda. And then multiply by log of um, 1 minus u here. Since u is a, num is a random, num random variable from uniform distribution, 1 minus u is just the counterpart. So 1 minus u is also from 
the uniform distribution. So I can just so I'm just going to use uh, u directly from here. So now, so let's say I'm going to generate ten thousand number from this uh, uniform distribution, or you can use the linear congruential method that we just talked about to generate another ten thousand random, uh, random pseudo random number um, from uniform distribution. So actually, this should be u. And then I'm going to plug in u into this. Um, so this exponential rv should be this. So now let's say if we want to like um, randomly sample from um, exponential with lambda equal to one. Or uh, let me keep lambda here. Lambda. So let's say if we want to sample uh, exponential distribution with lambda equal to 1. And now let's take a look of this. Um, yep. So you can see that um, you can see that our random, our pseudo random or our, our you can see that this histogram followed the uh, exponential distribution with lambda equal to 1 or let's say if we want to sample lambda with lambda equal to 1 half and or maybe is there any way I can create the bricks equal to 30 and then make it yeah so this is the inverse cdf method here where you can use a random uniform distribution to sample from another uh, distribution so in a general cases so given a pdf here first of all you are going you have to calculate the cdf of this uh, pdf here it is not all the all not all PDF can be easily ca get calculate the CDF. So there are some other method in case your PDF is uh, in case your CDF is very hard to calculate. So uh, this is just a basic method to calculate um, to um, using the using a, a known um, uh, random distribution to sampling from another unknown or un unknown distribution. So the first step is that uh, calculate the CDF given this PDF and then you take the inverse and then you plug in random uniform distribution and then plug in that to into this inverse CDF and then the variable that you get from here will follow that um, the PDF here will follow will follow your target distribution so um thank you very much for watching and then uh, if you like the video please subscribe or share it with your friends um thank you very much